Hey, Phil and the Nation. Uh, Pokal here. Uh, I just wanted to give my pretty response to Tuesday's PDS. Um, since I'm not an American, I'm going to talk about the do you like Obama question. Um, honestly, we no longer really hear much about what's going on generally in the States right now, it seems. Um, haven't really heard anything much on the news, um, but I like um, Obama's closing of Guantanamo, of repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Um, overall, it sounds like he's doing a good job, although he hasn't fixed the economy, which everyone seems to be hating on him for, but that's going to be a hard thing to do. I don't think it's going to be done in one administration. I don't think everyone should be hating so much on it because it's not just one country, it's the whole world that has to fix itself so that everyone else can then also fix themselves. I think it's just too big of a problem for one country to totally do it all independently. And then it's too big of a job for just Obama and his people. Um, I actually did watch part of the Republican debate and their answers to some things just blew my mind, most especially the Don't Ask, Don't Tell, how over 50% of them wanted Don't Ask, Don't Tell put back in place if Obama does repeal it. And I think that's just stupid. I even had to vlog about it, and I'm Canadian, and it has no effect on me. Canada is one of the 41 nations that allows gay and lesbians to serve openly in the military, and I think the U.S. needs to get in touch with the times and just let them serve who cares about the sexual orientation if people are uncomfortable then give them some help give them counseling so they can understand hey just because you're the guy sleeping in the bunk below you or whatever is gay does not mean he's gonna suddenly wake up one night and wanna rape you or convert you into homosexuality I think they just blow things away out of proportion so, thanks for listening to my response.